Are you ready? Let's go ahead and get up. Let's go ahead and get out of our house. We're going to go on a virtual trip to the Boys and Girls Club. Welcome to the Boys and Girls Club. I hope you guys have been having a great time right now. I know it's weird. It's weird being isolated. But let's just have a little fun. We're going to go on a virtual lesson right now. We're going to have a fun time with our staff here at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Oxford and Port Wainimi. So, I hope you guys are ready because we have an awesome lesson plan for you guys today here at the club. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Trovina from the Pro Anime Clubhouse and today we are going to do a STEAM activity. So let's get started. Today we are going to go ahead and make some hoop colliders. So let's get started. So what you're going to need for this activity is some index cards or some other type of paper like cardstock some scissors, some straws, and some tape. So what you guys are going to do first is you're gonna go ahead and grab your index cards or your paper and you're going to create two hoops that make a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this index card. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half hot dog style. I'm gonna go ahead and use my scissors to cut it in the middle. And then I'm going to do it again one more time. So as you guys can see, now I have four pieces of an index card. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my straw, place it right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab one end and I'm going to tape the line part. As you guys can see, the line part is going to be taped right here. So I'm going to go ahead and place my straw in the middle as much as possible. I'm going to grab some tape and we're going to go ahead and tape the straw to the index card. You guys want to make sure that it is fastened tight, taped down pretty tight so that it doesn't come loose. Um, as you guys can see, it kind of went loose a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add um, another piece of tape so that it stays. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and close this and make it into a hoop. So as you guys can see, when I'm folding it over, I want to cover it a little bit. Okay, so then I taped it on the outside and then I might want to tape it on the inside just in case. So now we have our small hoop. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and try and put another hoop on this end, but it needs to be a little bit bigger than the one I just made. So the one I just made was only one strip of the index card. So I'm gonna go ahead and decide on cutting one piece of the index card in half again, just to make it slightly bigger than the first hoop that I made. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape that together. Now that we have our second part, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did on this end. We're going to place the straw in the middle of the other strip of index card. We're going to tape it in the middle. And now we have our hoop glider. So now we're gonna go ahead and move into an open space because we wanna make sure um, to test these hoop gliders out. So let's go. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and test our hoop glider. So how you guys are gonna do this is you're going to position your hand in the middle of your straw and in between the hoops. And then when you guys throw it, the smallest circle is going to be facing forward and you're gonna do it in a flicking motion. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I do it. So what happened when we threw the hoop glider? So what happened was, was that the straw was the one that I was pushing to get from where I'm throwing it to a different part of the room. So what happened was, as the straw was traveling through the air and heading downwards to land, the hoops from the hoop glider is helping the straw balance itself so that it can go as far as it can. Okay, what else did you guys notice when you guys threw your hoop glider? Another way for you guys to extend your activity is to try and see what happens when you make the hoops a little bit bigger, what happens if you adjust 
how big the straw is, what happens when you throw it a certain way, what if instead of throwing it in the middle, you throw it closer to one end and what happens to the other. If you guys enjoyed this activity, please make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at BGCOPH. Also, make sure to start following us on our website as well and register at the V Club. Make sure you visit the Boys and Girls Club of Port Wayne and Oxnard website and register to see all our other activities as well. We miss you guys. Please be safe. Bye.